Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Tell Sarah not to go. <laughs> Tell her not to go. We just did my shot in the cell lot of the airport, and he's gonna drop me off at the terminal. I want Where? you. To, I want you to come with. There she goes. It's been a while since she's traveled by herself without me, and now she's got her our baby cooking in her belly, and I'm gonna miss them both so much. She's not back till Tuesday night. Today, I am crashing Ben and Carolyn's date night. I don't think they mind, or at least they're not gonna get muster up the courage to let me know that I can't third wheel them. But, to their chagrin potentially, I'm third wheeling them. So, they are already in Epcot. Ben's mom is watching the kids. I think the plan is Epcot till close. Maybe till close, I hope till close, because that means I get to get another viewing of Epcot forever. And then, Disney Springs. And I've not been to Disney Springs with them other than like I think once. So that'll be cool and weird. So it should be a good night and tomorrow's Friday. So you can probably tell by the lack of people in that time lapse, um, if you could even call it that, um, that the airport is like super slow. Everything went super easy. I got to stop at the Disney store to pick up just a couple of Halloween treats for the family. And I'm waiting for my flight. It was delayed like 35 minutes. I have a stop in Atlanta, but I don't have to get off of the plane, but still I'm going to get to Chicago like just before midnight, which is just before 1 a.m. Orlando time. So I got a lot of plane ride ahead of me. I did bring my neck pillow because I can sleep very well on planes. I also brought Jonathan Van Ness's book over the top to read. I actually haven't talked about this much, but I've been going through like, I'm either super hungry or super nauseous. So I got some water for the plane and then some cinnamon Altoids, which were my dad's, like always had them in his pocket. So hopefully that'll help my stomach on the flight. Oh, it's still food and wine. Still a fall Epcot. So last I heard from Ben, they were leaving America. They started in France. So I know they're going this way. Just gotta find them. I don't think they're walking, gonna be walking faster than I. So I shouldn't have to like exert it myself too much. I might stop for a drink, but I might wait to meet up with them. Cause I don't know where they're at and where they're gonna wanna stop by. But it is absolutely gorgeous out. Beautiful Epcot now, you couldn't ask for a better, better weather. Good. Hi. They should be here around this area, either here or Germany. Look who I found. Where are your kids? Oh my God! Where are I thought you had them. <laughs> ah. All right, we've come to Mexico to get margaritas because I'm with Ben and Carolyn without the kids. So tonight's gonna be about Ooh, dancing, celebrating. We're gonna talk about dancing, celebrating. Tonight's about dancing. Celebrating and drinking a little bit, right? It's a blast. Okay, there we got three avocado got margaritas. That um, one's Peter's. <laughs> that one's mine. John would be so happy if he was here. Aww. Wait a minute, we're in. I don't know if I'm allowed in here without Sarah. This is incredible. What? This is incredible. Epcot comes to life in a global Imagine being a part of Disney's 
That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in that was Disney really World. Neat. And they have all the, the new pavilion attract the, like, attraction posters, but for the pavilions. And Carolyn said the Mexico one hints that it's going to be a Coco overlay, which I'm bittersweet about. Wait a minute. Why do they have Maelstrom? You are not the first to pass this way, nor shall you be the last. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Two floors. This right here says it all, the Epcot experience. Welcome to a place that celebrates the magic of possibility and always has. Right from the very beginning, we've been dreaming up some exciting new places for you to explore, discover, and share together. Epcot will always be in a state of becoming. Come inside for a sneak peek at your transformation. This is the daily message of the day. Alrighty, it is 8.40 and we are finally boarding. We just got in the minivan. The first thing I hear at Disney Springs, my boy Brian Malpass. Oh, Sarah. We miss you, but Sarah, they get to hear, they at least get to see Brian Malpass. Yeah, in person. Oh, I know, he's putting his guitar away. I think he's done. No, no. Wait, no, I think he's getting a stand out. No, he's getting a stool out. Yes. Oh, we're at Jack Lindsay's. And I'll say in a second, but there's some visitors here as well. Whoa, we kind of crashed their party. Look who we found! I can barely see you because it's on my phone, but say hello! Oh, you know what this means? This music right here? The Addison. Carolyn wants some french fries. And by the way, Peter Burkhart can't handle Carolyn and Caroline being in the same place at one time. Oh, uh, Caroline my, is the best. My neurological system was just failing. <laughs> She's amazing! This is her best name. I never thought the Earhart's would be here. That's my sweat they're wiping up. <laughs> so it is 10.30. We landed in Atlanta. And so I like slept basically the whole time. There was... <laughs> I woke up and people were having their drinks and I was like, can I have one? Like I don't like missing out on that, but I swear I can fall asleep before takeoff and just sleep. People next to me, when they got up, they even said like, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Uh, so because I'm one of the only people staying on to Chicago, I got to move to the front row. So I all the space, pretty fancy. So the party moves on to Raglan Road. Hey, Raglan Road, this is in honor of Sarah, Paul Vinegar. Mary Kay Danaher? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, look up Mary Kay Danaher. And then watch the movie. And then watch the movie. 100 times. A million times. In a row. Yeah. Oh. Celtic of Thunder just started. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the most like just like straight I've ever slept on a flight. I woke up when they said we were descending. So that was great. Um, the nice thing about Midway is it's much closer to my mom's house, so Grant's gonna come pick me up. Just gotta wait for my luggage. And we'll be on our way. Hopefully I'll be asleep within the hour. It's midnight here, 1 a.m. in Florida, so. Goodness, I'm just gonna still try to get my eight hours of sleep while I'm here, but I also want to make the most of my time. All right, so we took the minivan back to Boardwalk. I have our bag of little gifts that Sarah will not see. This is all I'm gonna show. We got Sarah some congratulatory gifts. I'm gonna go home, go to Eve, go to bed, and tomorrow 
is Friday in Bush Gardens, a brand new event for me that I've never done before. All right, I'm home. Tonight is the third. The message is by Steve Marabelli. Forget yesterday. It has already forgotten you. Don't sweat tomorrow. You haven't even met. Instead, open your eyes and your heart to a truly precious gift today. All right, it's just me and Eve right now. I think Sarah will do a sign off from Chicago, but she just got off the plane. I put a treat down. She does not, she does not want me to hold her. But tomorrow's going to be the hardest day. The longest day she'll be alone. And after that, she'll be good. And then before you know it, Sarah will be back home with us. Thank you for following along with us. Sarah, I miss you. I love you. Can't wait to be home with me. I wish I was there with you. It's good to be home. Fast forward a long time. Um, I am home. Um, I just went over some of the shower stuff with my mom. Oh, I gotta show you what she gave us. This Mother Goose book and then this Hello World Small World book. It's like hello in a bunch of different languages. It's so cute. I found some Hey Arnold to watch. So I will just be watching that before I go to bed. It's crazy. We have not been here since May. It's a really long time for us. Um, but something cool me and my mom were just talking about is that the reason it's been so long is because of our IVF procedures. Um, Peter wasn't able to come because he's been using so much PTO for IVF. Um, and so there's no guarantee with IVF, so it just feels so good that even though we haven't been here and Peter's missing out, and it might not have been the most traditional year of visits, that it was worth it. And um, we know how fortunate we are that it is. So just feeling good, feeling happy that I could return with happy news. And it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.